driving through the BMW dealership. Like everybody's staring. What year is yours? Everybody's literally staring. This is crazy. I don't see any old school BMWs other than this one here. Yeah, right? I'm like this is trying crazy. to find them. I don't see any. Was had no rust, but yeah, um, he had it painted. That's great. It looks amazing. Yeah. I love it. it looks isn't great. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I need to uh, repaint my baby bends next year. My 190E that I got. Yeah, yeah that thing is amazing. Yeah, I love it. And you know, it's a formatic, so it's He's like got so. Three girls. Yeah, it's so uh, unique. You know, um, it's amazing. This thing's beautiful. Yeah, the thing is amazing. Yeah, this is the one that I used to work on. Uh, I used to come to Matt's house and. I used to work on this amazing baby, you know, 240D. I love this thing so much. Uh, Look at all this. Big trunk. Look, this is a really yeah. big trunk, you know. It's you can amazing. pick up somebody from the airport and fit right? like seven luggage. Reminds me of like uh, old school American car or something like that, you know. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. This is so plushy. It's because I'm getting this yeah. blink every once in a while. Uh -huh. But that oh that hose is a little yeah it needs to be replaced. See? My yep. finger, the yep. juice. Yep, I see. So I think the slits right here. So if I cut back like right, right yeah, here, yeah, you can cut it. Yeah, I got and plenty then left. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let me look for it. <laughs> that's amazing. I love this color. The color is so beautiful on this. I got boys that are learning to drive, etc. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, so uh, all the cars are amazing. This is a 1985. Sweet W123. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a paradise, guys. This is amazing. I love this thing. All right, guys, we're still waiting on quite a few people, but uh, we have this amazing 1985 uh, Mercedes W115, the 240D. The, this is the car I used to work on. And I'm so sorry there's a lot of planes here because we're close to the airport, but just bear with me. Alright, this is amazing. Car, 240D, beautiful, immaculate condition. The owner has had it for quite a while now. I used to do a lot of work to this car. But it's super beautiful. Uh, I really love this car so much. And it brings me memories uh, ever since I was working on it. Uh, it's so beautiful. Um, legendary OM616 engine in this thing. Um, beautiful grill, beautiful everything. Everything is so nice and detailed on this car. I'm about to show you the interior on it as well. Uh, so this is going to be really beautiful uh, right there. Look at this beautiful car. All right, Door cards, everything. It's so amazing. Steering wheel. Just gotta love these amazing cars. All these details on this car. So amazing. And it's got a brown interior as well. So it's like brown on brown. Okay. It's amazing. That's how clean this thing is. Alright, this is another amazing car. This is a 4Matic, super rare W124 wagon, 300TE with M103 engine. Uh, so, super beautiful car. 
All right. Uh, M103 in line six. The, the owner has done so much work to this engine. Actually, he said he replaced the head gasket on it. Did a bunch of other work on it. Uh, he's had this car for a while. The car he actually repainted the car. So um, as you can see, the fresh uh, headlight bezels and everything. This thing is so beautiful. Okay. Um, beautiful wheels. I mean, I'm really digging this car. It's got beautiful interior as well. Um, and he actually drove this car all the way from Montana. So he's just visiting visiting his family and dad here. Uh, and that W115 uh, is actually his dad, so amazing, amazing car, legends, 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 here you go guys, just enjoy it. Well, this is another car you probably know. It's a 1991 BMW 535i E34 chassis, it's my friend's. He's had this car for a long time as well. Uh, he's had this for at least seven or eight years. Legendary M30 engine with inline six, uh, stick shift as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, great car. It's currently, he mostly, he drives it sometimes. It's winter time right now, but uh, he also keeps it in a garage as of right now, most of the time, uh, especially if it snows. Amazing, amazing machines. I don't have mine. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing car. Legendary engine. A million miles. Love it. Smooth as, yeah. Smooth as silk. I really love this thing so much. Look, oh my God! Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll show you the hood, everything. I mean, it's and this is everything. So I love, I love everything about this car because everything is stock, everything is classic, how it's supposed to be. Like. My side be like that. Yeah. All you will be. You just gotta get there. You just gotta keep on pushing. You know. We have a it's, lot of leaks. Yeah. Man, my car have a lot of leaks. I don't know. You why. know, all my cars need a lot of work too. You you saw my 190. I'm you slowly know, building thing, it. This thing leaks a little bit of oil, a little bit of trend. When I took it to the guy in in Lake yeah. Forest. Yeah. And he said, uh, I said, you know, it's leaking a little bit. He said, he said, you know what? He said the car's 50 years old. Yeah. He said, oil is cheap. Yeah. Transmission fluid is cheap. Yeah. He said some that. people want to make it so there's no leak. Well, but for said, that you would have to take the engine out yes. and just uh, refresh the gaskets, basically. Right, that's right, that's right. what you need, you yeah, know, pretty the rear much. Seal. Yeah, yeah, right. What do you have manual for the? For yeah. the it's hard to <laughs> replace. <laughs> um, Manifold gasket? That's manifold uh, gasket? In, in, my, in my car? On your uh, car? No, it's not that bad. No, the bit? intake manifold gasket or which one? It's not bad. Yeah, I'll show you actually. Uh, oh, we don't have so any V8s here, here, so. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll explain yeah, to you. Yeah, it's not that bad. You just remove the the inner part. Mm -hmm. So there's the key. The fuel distributor has yeah. to come off, and yeah, after that, there's gonna be uh, the intake manifold. Sure you just take that out, and then there's gaskets in there, and then you just clean it up, install the gaskets. It's not a big deal. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is the AC compressor, uh, yeah. yeah. It's the AC compressor. Yeah. Uh, no. It runs, exactly. Anyway. They just last because forever. Go, always, yeah. Yeah. I got them a couple months ago, like two months ago, three months ago. It's an amazing day guys, we have some amazing people here come came by. Unfortunately not everybody was able to come in just because uh, it's the middle of the week and nobody can, you know, everybody's like busy and stuff like that so, but uh, we're still waiting a couple more people to show up but uh, we're gonna go on a cruise uh, shortly here, it should be a lot of fun, uh, I'm really excited.
На меня сделан So cool. All the Mercedes and classic car enthusiasts and BMW enthusiasts right here. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I would cry that breaks probably. My heart, man. I would literally like cry. Yeah. It's not even my car. I love this thing so much. There's my brother here. I'm super. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you, baby! Probably gonna buy it from Nico one day. <laughs> but it's a CLK. It's a CLK. I had the E320. It's a two-door? It was a 90 this is no, it was a W124 probably. Yeah. This is a W210. Yeah. This was the first year that it looked like this, actually. It's amazing, uh, I love I'm this sorry, thing so much. Say, no, no worries, no worries. The interior is, everything is mint on this car. Everything is amazing. It's a 95. No, I think it's 96 or 7. It's 96, you're right. Yeah, yeah, 96. My mom bought the two cans, it's super early. What did you buy? I was seeing this last week. You got a good light, let me grab one. Can you grab a light? Ah, yeah. Alright guys, so this is amazing uh, 300D 123 uh, we're working on. So, um, just a quick note that I noticed is uh, you see this power steering belt, you see how uh, oily and shiny that is. Well, the engine mounts on this uh, car are actually collapsed and uh, they need to be replaced as soon as possible. Um, and long story short, uh, what happened is this belt, this belt actually uh, started rubbing because the engine is so low, it started rubbing into the oil cooler line. So it's a big alert. You need to uh, take care of it, you need to actually uh, fix it up right now. So anyways, as you can see, um, there's a cut in that hose right there. So, th so what this car will need is, it will need the oil cooler uh, engine oil cooler, uh, cooler line and it will need two engine mounts replaced as soon as possible so um, make sure you check it the same thing on your cars this is really important uh, because uh, this person was really close from actually losing his oil pressure so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna probably remove that power steering belt uh, because this is unsafe to drive like this and he will actually order the parts very soon uh, to replace that. This is the first thing this car needs. Uh, so. Hated to begin with, huh? Yeah. So we just cut this belt right now. And uh, the owner is going to drive without the belt. But um, this uh, cooler line is very bad. Uh, so this needs to be addressed very soon. ASAP. It's uh, very close to uh, start uh, just shooting out the oil. Yeah. Should I have this taped up? Is it taped so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna probably put some tape on it or something, you know, for right now, uh, so you can get it safely home. But like I said, just uh, keep an eye on your oil pressure, and if it drops to zero, shut it off right away. Does your shut off work by chance? It does, right? When you shut it off with the key, does it work, right? Yeah. Th does it shut off with the key when you shut it off? The key, the engine shuts off, right? With the key, that's great. Okay. Because you know, a lot of people. With that. 
this line the vacuum the uh -huh. vacuum line right in, that's why I had to swap okay great awesome so that's working because that's really important because otherwise you would have to go under the hood and you know shut it off if anything um, but yeah so like I said just keep an eye on the oil pressure and she'll be fine oh uh, yeah if it's seeping out or not You'll be fine. All Just right. keep an eye on the right. oil pressure, you know, and oil you'll be all right. Yep. Yep. I love these cars. <laughs> 